Good evening everyone. Myself Gautam Sarma. I welcome you all in a sapiens education. So today basically we will discuss about the different type of magnetic substances. So we have already done, done a lot about the previously we have already discussed a lot. So today I am basically going to differentiate about the different type of magnetic substance. So there are three types of magnetic substance that is your diamagnetic, ferromagnetic and paramagnetic. So we will discuss this one by one. So what is diamagnetic substance? When such a substances are placed in a external magnetic field. Let us suppose this is an, a substance and it has been placed in a external magnetic field. They get weakly magnetized. Means their magnetic property will decrease, right? In a direction opposite to the magnetic field. So what happens? See here, this is your north and south pole and diamagnetic substance are there. See here. So what happens inside? magnetic field inside uh, inside the field field uh, of the magnetic substances in this direction it means that the um, it means the magnetic property decreases the ability to attract decreases okay now need to understand why this happens we know that most of the magnetic substance has even number of even number of electron so when a, there is an even number of electrons so one moves in this direction so another will move in this direction so they both have a velocity v right so that a magnetic substance motion of the all the electron in an atom is assumed as the motion of the two electron revolving with the same angular velocity so same angular velocity will be there in a circular orbit of a same radius but in opposite sense right but in a opposite sense okay Now see what happens exactly. Due to this, what happens? A force magnetic field. If you place a magnetic field in this direction, in this direction, so what happens? A force due to uh, force uh, due to the movement of electron. If electron is moving with the velocity, so what happens? A force will be force will be acting in this direction. Due to this, what will happen? A dipole moment will be created, and in this direction also dipole moment will be created. Okay. So when electron moves in this direction, so it supports the dipole moment. So it's uh, there will be an increase in a dipole moment. But when a when a electron is moving in this direction, in this direction, so it uh, opposes its original dipole moment. Let us suppose its original dipole moment was m. Its original dipole moment was m. But when it starts rotating, so there is a decrease in a dipole moment in over delta m times. So finally, if you add on vector addition of these two magnetic moment gives the rise to a net dipole magnetic moment to delta m. So earlier there was two m, uh, the, there was net dipole moment was zero. Why? Because one is upward and another is downward. But due to this, what happens? You are getting a two a two delta m as a dipole moment directed in upward that is opposite to the external field. Understood? Since the net moment is delta uh, 2 delta m so developed is called induced magnetic moment. When you apply a field, external field, then what will happen? When you apply an external uh, external field, then what, what happens? What happens? Net dipole moment is being created. So the magnetic moment induced in the different atoms add vertically to give a net magnetization of the material in a direction opposite to the B. So see here. Magnetic field is in this direction, but magnetic moment is being created in opposite direction. So what will happen? There will be a repulsive case. So the appearance of the induced magnetic moment in atom is not affected by the thermal motions atoms. Therefore, magnetic susceptibility of such a material does not depend on the temperature of the material. What do you mean by this? Let us see. So you have already understood that it will create an opposite moment opposite dipole moment net dipole moment will be always created in opposite to the direction of magnetic field now one more thing is that when you heat when you heat any diamagnetic substance then what will happen when you heat a diamagnetic substance then what will happen there will be increase in a kinetic energy change in a magnetic moment so if there is a change in a magnetic moment happens so since upward and downward both will be changed let us suppose delta b and delta uh, delta 
m and delta m has been changed so net moment will be g net zero why because if it in this direction it has increased so in this direction same amount of the magnetic magnetism pro, magnetic moment will be increased but both are in opposite direction but a magnitude will be equal in opposite direction that's why they will cancel out each other they will cancel out each other okay now see we have already done this uh no let's see the appearance of a induced magnetic moment in an atom is not affected by the thermal motion of the atom therefore magnetic susceptibility of such a material does not depend on the temperature of the material so if uh, same thing if temperature increases what what will happen m plus delta m magnetic moment will increase in this direction m plus delta m magnetic moment will increase in this direction so what will happen both will cancel each other so there is a net no net effect in the change in a magnetic moment okay now properties let us understood that when diamagnetic substance are suspended in a uniform magnetic field they set their longest axis right angle to the direction of the pill so what will happen it will move in this direction why because there is a repulsion happens as we have already understood that the magnetic moment magnetic moment m is always in opposite direction opposite direction to the field right so there will be a repulsion there will be a repulsion right now second property is when a diamagnetic substance are placed in a non uniform magnetic field this substance have a tendency to move from stronger parts of the field to the weaker part so let us uh, we know that these are the stronger field so what will happen there is a repulsion property so this substance will move in a weaker zone so see here you can understood that this substance the magnetic substance move toward the weaker weaker um, magnetic field okay so this is your second property now third property when a piece of a diamagnetic material is placed in a magnetizing field the magnetic field line prefer not to pass through the material why because it is repulsive in nature so what will happen magnetic field will be get repelled like this okay so it implies that the magnetic field lines are repelled and the field inside the material is reduced slightly so let us suppose earlier the magnetic field was b and external um, magnetic field is b not and b bm is the um, property of bm is the property of magnetic property or magnetic strength of the material inside there is a bm so we know that external field is b not inside it is your bm so net net magnetic field will be b not minus bm it means that net magnetic field will be always less than the b not so when you keep any material so that it will decrease the magnetic field lines or it will decrease the strength so we can understood from this from here mu r is equal to b by b not so since since here b is less than b not b is less than b not so b by b not is less than 1 so from here mu r is less than 1 so relative permittivity is less than 1 so relative magnetic permeability of a diamagnetic substance is always less than unity this has to be memorized okay now let us go for this susceptibility of this susceptibility is equal to mu r minus 1 since mu r is less than 1 so one, less than 1 minus 1 will be always less than 1 so susceptibility here is becomes a negative so hence susceptibility of a diamagnetic material has a small negative values now susceptibility of a diamagnetic does uh, diamagnetic does not change with the temperature as you know that there will be no change in the magnetic moment so susceptibility will remain constant with the change in a with a change in a temperature okay so the diamagnetic um, basically diamagnetic substance if you go through this antimony bismuth copper lead 
क्वार्ड्स वाटर मर्क्यूरी हाइड्रोजन इंटरनेट गैस आर द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द डायमैग्नेटिक सब्सटेंस ओके नाउ लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट द पारा मैग्नेटिक सब्सटेंस व्हाट इज पारा मैग्नेटिक सब्सटेंस अ पारा मैग्नेटिक सब्सटेंस are those in which each individual atoms or molecules ion has a net non zero magnetic moment of its own so there is non no net magnetic moment why this happen you try to understand most of the paramagnetic materials will have e odd number of electron odd number of electron so if there is a odd number of electron so you won't get couple like diamagnetic okay so what happen when such a substance are placed in an external magnetic field they get weakly magnetized in the direction of the magnetizing field so this means that it will be weakly magnetized okay diamagnetic uh, paramagnetic substance will get weakly magnetized for example aluminum chromium manganese lithium platinum tungsten sodium oxygen are the examples okay now normally the atoms or molecules having odd number of electrons shows paramagnetic property odd number means when you, you, they won't get any pair of the rotation for the electrons so in as in we have already discussed in the case of the diamagnetic substance so in paramagnetics you won't get a pair of the electrons so that you won't get so there will be always a net uh, no uh, there will be always a magnetic moment in a particular direction now see this is a magnetic moment in a particular direction electron is revolving so what happen it has a velocity v every atom has a some permanent magnetic dipole moment so here no cancellation happens so it means that there will be there will be permanent dipole moment see here there will be always permanent dipole moment unlike in diamagnetics what happen no permanent uh, magnetic moment was there why because there was even number of electrons and due to this what happens net magnetic moment get cancel out but in this case what you need to understand is that in this case net magnetic moment there will be always a permanent permanent magnetic dipole moment now explanation for the um, it is explanation for a paramagnetism see in the substance of an external magnetic field what happens the atomic dipole are randomly oriented so the average magnetic moment per unit volume of material is zero see if you take a particular case so particular atom will have a magnetic dipole moment but what happens when when you will find you will find a you will find its orientation in this direction in this direction in this direction in this direction so what exactly happens what what exactly happens see here what exactly happens they will uh, they will cancel each other due to different orientation so net you will find net magne um, magnetic moment is zero net uh, magnetic field strength is also zero okay but if you consider an individual atom so you will find a net magnetic moment are there now let us come let us suppose when an external magnetic field is applied it tries to align the atomic atomic magnetic dipole in the direction of the field see let us suppose you have applied a magnetic dipole moment uh, sorry magnetic field b let us suppose we have applied a magnetic field b so what will happen all random orientation will try to align itself in the direction of the magnetic field that is why the material get magnetized why weakly why because all the magnetic moment will try to align with this okay in this direction of the field this is known as para this phenomena is known as paramagnetism now let us understand when we raise the temperature of the material of the atomic magnetic dipole acquires some kinetic energy so what will happen it will try to move in this direction this direction this direction anywhere direction so net magnetic so again what happens in spite of 
in spite of uh, you have applied um, external field so what happens due to its kinetic energy it will change its orientation orientation and they will try to again bring net magnetic moment to be zero hence magnetic susceptibility of a paramagnetic uh, material decreases with the rise in a temperature so as you increase the temperature so magnetic susceptibility will decrease it will weaken the magnetic property okay now as we have already understood that um, this type of material will always try to align with the magnetic field so when a paramagnetic substance is suspended in a uniform magnetic field like this so they rotate so as to bring their longest axis along with the direction so see here they will align itself it means it supports unlike the diamagnetics it will repel but in this they will align itself in the direction uh, just in this direction with the parallel to the north south direction paled direction okay now when the pin of paramagnetic material are placed in a non uniform magnetic field they uh, they tends to move from weaker part of the of the field to the stronger part so this is your north pole this is your south pole and this is your strong portion okay so what happen it will all the magnetic um, paramagnetic material will try to come in this a portion so this is why this happens that all all it will create an heap heap of the material okay heap of the material now third property when a piece of a paramagnetic substance is placed in a magnetizing field the magnetic field lines prefer to pass through the piece rather than through air why because it supports so it, as you know that this type of material will supports the magnetic field so what will happen it will try to align itself no repulsion will happen it will be attraction so the net field will be equal to inside magnetic field plus mag um, field mag outside magnetic field plus magnetic field of the material so finally net b is greater than b not so b by b not is greater than 1 that is mu relative permeability is greater than 1 so this magnetic field b inside the piece is more than the magnetic field b not outside the piece so i hope you have understood this now if mu r mu r is here greater than 1 so relative magnetic permeability of a paramagnetic substance is always more than unity this means this means that paramagnetic substance have a tendency to pull the magnetic field lines when placed in a magnetizing field okay so this is your four property susceptibility of the paramagnetic substance varies inversely as the temperature increases so x m is inversely proportional to temperature so if temperature will increase so susceptibility will decrease okay so this is the graph so you need to memorize it now it means that they lose their magnetic character with the rise in a temperature so if you heat so paramagnetic will lose their character okay so i hope you have understood this now let us suppose uh, discuss about the ferromagnetic substances okay it is the substance are those in which each individual atom or molecule ion has a non zero magnetic moment as in a paramagnetic substance substance there will be every time there will be, you will find a magnetic moment when such a substance are placed in an external magnetizing field they get strongly magnetized in the direction of the field it is just similar to the paramagnetics but in diamagnetics what happened there was zero magnetic moment in paramagnetics what happened there was non zero magnetic moment and ferromagnetic also there is a non zero magnetic moment so basically ferromagnetic example of ferromagnetic materials are iron cobalt nickel and their alloys okay so we will discuss its property now each individual atom molecules ion has a non zero magnetic moment and it is like this 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 okay so it is in a random direction all right 
Now, in paramagnetic substance, atoms forms a very large number of uh, of a small effective region called domains. So, let us suppose this is an atom, so it will form a domain like this. And what actually happens? Let us suppose atoms. So, some of the atoms, see, one, two, three, four atoms will try to be aligned in a same direction like this. So, this is the domain. This is also domain having few number of Make a few number of atoms okay so these are the domains and each domain is a strong magnet without any external magnetic field so it is already in a strong magnetic form why because most of the atoms will have a same direction magnetic uh, magnetic moments are there so it will behave as a strong magnet each domain will behave as a strong magnet right now, in the absence of external magnetic field, the magnetic moments of a different domains are randomly oriented. See here, all uh, one domain has a randomly moment. This domain is in a random orientation. So this is um, uh, unmagnetized. So finally, you will find total magnetic moment is zero. If okay, so that their resultant magnetic moment in any direction is zero. Right now. Now, the see here, as you apply a magnetic field externally, that is B, then domain starts to rotate till their magnetic moment are aligned in their direction of the applied magnetic field. So, see here, now there is a random, random uh, direction, but as you have applied external, external magnetic field, magnetic field, so what happens? All the domain, domain A, domain B, domain C, domain D, domain E, domain F, like this. All domain A is uh, now aligned with the magnetic field lines. So, hence what happened? This is the magnetized condition. So, net do magnetic moment is not now zero. So, there will be something. Okay. Arrange to form the single joint domain. So they all will form a single joint domain and behave as a strong magnet. Behave as a strong magnet, right? Now, magnetization is inversely proportional to temperature. As you increase temperature, so magnetization will increase, decrease. Why? Because again, it will gain kinetic energy. And again, some domain will move like this, some domain will move like this, some domain will move like this. But as you increase the temperature or a heat, so what happens? Domain, it's, it starts gaining kinetic energy and due to which what happens? Uh, there will be a less magnetization. So, if you heat a ferromagnetic material, so what will happen? There will be a loss in a magnetization, okay? Now, these are the properties. So, first property we will discuss here. The first property is they are strongly magnetized in the direction of external field which they are placed. See here. So, the magnet will become stronger. They have a strong tendency to move from region of a weak magnetic field to the region of a strong magnetic field and hence they get strongly attracted. See here. These are the normal case when there is a strong magnetic field. So, all the material will come aligned with this strong field. It means that B is very much greater than B naught. So, relative permeability is very much greater than 1. So, relative magnetic permeability of ferromagnetic material is very large and it is of the order of 10 to the power two, uh, 3 to 10 to the power 5. Now, susceptibility SM is equal to mu R minus 1. So, XM is very large positive value. Why? Because it is of the order of 10 to the power 3 to 10 to the power 5. So, the susceptibility of ferromagnetic material is very large. That is why they can be magnetized easily and strongly. Okay. So, that's why we use this type of material to make a permanent magnet. Understood? With the rise in a temperature, susceptibility of a ferromagnetic material decreases. So, we can use this. At the certain temperature, ferromagnetism change over a paramagnetism. You know? That when you increase, 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 so what will happen? What will happen? Susceptibility will decrease. So, at a certain temperature, what will happen? It will behave as a paramagnetism. Magnetism. 
and this transition temperature is called Curie temperature. It means that the temperature at which ferromagnetic become paramagnetism, ferromagnetic change over the paramagnetism is known as Curie temperature. Curie temperature of iron is about 1000 Kelvin. Okay. Now, one more important property is that when a piece of a paramagnetic substance is placed in a magnetizing field, the magnetic field lines prefer to pass through the piece rather than through the air. So, most of the, uh, it will get attracted automatically in this, okay. So, definitely B will be very much larger than the B naught, okay. So, B is equal to B plus B naught. So, B is very much larger than B naught. So, what happen when you um, keep any, any magnet like this. So, what will happen? It will align itself toward the magnetic field lines. Curie laws. What is Curie law? The diamagnetic material does not depend. Sorry, so, uh, magnetization of the diamagnetic material does not depend on the temperature. So diamagnetic, may, uh, no change will happen. But magnetization of magnetic susceptibility of paramagnetic and paramagnetic material depends upon temperature. Okay. So three materials. See temperature dependency. Uh, here paramagnetism as, as well as paramagnetism. Both depends upon the temperature. Now, Curie law of magnetization. The magnetic susceptibility of a paramagnetic and paramagnetic material is inversely proportional to the temperature. It means that as you increase temperature, susceptibility of the magnetization will decrease. So, from here, we can remove the proportionality constant. So, we will get C, and this C is known as Curie constant. So, XM susceptibility is equal to C by T. So, you need to remember this. Now, as Xm is equal to C by T, so we can use to find the graph. So, it is hyperbolic curve. Hyperbolic curve. At a zero Kelvin temperature of magnetization of a para and ferromagnetic material is maximum and decrease with the increase in a temperature. See here. So, this is what we need to understand. So, Curie temperature for ferromagnetic and paramagnetic. When the material is cooled, it gains ferromagnetic property again. The temperature below which magnetic material behaves like a ferromagnetic material and above which behave like a paramagnetic material is called Curie temperature. So, this is another definition. You may write this, right? Now, basically for iron, Curie temperature is 770 degree. So, I hope you have understood well. If you have any problem, ask me in the comment section. Thank you for attending my video classes.